Welcome to Curie Electronics. In this video, we are going to learn about current sinking and current sourcing. What do you mean by current sinking and current sourcing? We come across this current sinking and current sourcing when we want to connect a external load to a system or a circuit or even a microcontroller or microprocessor. So when we want to connect an external load, we start thinking about current sinking and sourcing. So let's see what is this current sinking and sourcing. We have a device. 5 volt powered device. And I have a load resistor. I have a load. Resistive load, RL. If I connect like this, what happens? The current flows like this through the load to ground. That is, current is flowing out of the out of the device. Current flows out of the device. So this is known as the sourcing, current sourcing. That is, we have a device and the current is flowing out of the device to the load. Through the load, it is going to ground. Current has to complete the path. So this is a current sourcing. Then what about current sinking? Similarly, we have a device. I have connected one end of the load directly to the supply, that is 5 volt supply. Now this is my load RL. Now what is happening, the current is flowing from the power supply that is 5 volt into the device. But this is the current sinking, that is current is flowing into the device current flowing into the device into the device that is the what is this the current flowing into the device is known as the current sinking current sinking Now, I hope you got the basic idea about what is current sinking and sourcing. But if you want to be more familiar with this, let's take some more examples. Let's take a transistor. How the transistor acts as a current sinking device. So we have the transistor. We want to use this as a current sinking device base collector and emitter. So what do I do? Emitter I will connect to ground. And the base I am going to give the input signal. To use this transistor, I say NPN transistor as a switch. At the input, we need a high pulse, high going pulse. Now what do I do? Uh, to make it more clear, let us connect a LED. Now what do I do? I'll put a current limiting resistor for the LED. This I will connect to 5 volt. Usually we use 5 volt because of the TTL and this is an LED. So it's emitting the light. 
this is a current limiting resistor for the LED. Now what happens? Now when we apply high high signal that is a 5 volt signal to the base of the NPN transistor current how the current flows? The current flows from 5 volt to this switch this transistor acts like a short circuit so it flows through ground this is the path of the current so now what is happening current is sinking into the device through the transistor it is going to ground so this is the current sinking current sinking how the the load is getting the ground through the switch that is what current sinking let's let's try to replace it with a replace it with a switch that is we have the 5 volt and a current limiting resistor for led and this is the led light emitting diode so here what i do i will use a switch here and this switch other end I connect to ground this is the ground point now what is happening the load is getting the ground through the switch and when the switch is closed current flows into the switch this is what what is current so sinking current sinking now let's see with this transistor how do we make a how to make the transistor as a current sourcing device so here let's uh, use a PNP transistor so to the emitter I'll collect 5 volt to turn on the PNP transistor on the base we need a low signal that is 0 volt low signal the collector I am going to connect the load Here what is happening the diode in the LED cathode I have connected directly to ground and anode should get positive potential to make the LED glow or to emit the light. This is the current sourcing configuration. Now what is happening when the switch is closed the current flows like this. So the current is flowing out of the device here current is flowing out of the device so this configuration is what is this configuration this is a current sourcing configuration current sourcing configuration current sourcing configuration if you want to replace it with a simple switch circuit how do you do I have a current limiting resistor the load will change okay just for the example I am showing it with LED we have the LED LED is connected to ground because we are going to source so the current should flow out of the device now what do I do I will connect a switch here when switch is closed what happens the current is flowing out of the device through the emitter current is coming to the load so this is current sourcing now we are more clear now uh, let us uh, have no doubt at all so let's take example of MOSFET also how do you use a MOSFET for current sinking and sourcing let's take the enhancement type a MOSFET enhancement most type MOSFET this is a gate the source now you tell me this is what type of MOSFET it's N channel MOSFET N channel MOSFET now I'll collect the load to the drain so this is drain this is source 
I'm going to connect the load to the drain. So now already you know the drain. Let's connect the LED using a current limiting resistor. Is this correct? This is not correct because what we are going to do, we are going to do the current sinking. So the anode should be anode and cathode. So we are going to sink the current. So this end of the LED will connect to 5 volt. Now when we give a high high pulse to the gate of a n channel transist n channel mosfet it turns on and the current flows into the device that is from 5 volt supply through the load that is our led the current limiting resistor to ground to ground so this is the a mosfet based current sinking current sinking Finally, we'll see how to make a current sourcing using MOSFET. So, when do you make when you if you want to make a current sourcing using a MOSFET, then we use P-channel MOSFET. The so P-channel MOSFET and the source. Source now I will collect to 5 volt. See MOSFETs mainly standard levels and the logic level. For these applications we use logic level MOSFETs. That's why I am going with the 5 volt supply. If the standard level the voltage will be much higher. The train voltage, source train voltage is going to be high. So now to turn on we need a low pulse gate. We need a, uh, this is the source, this is the drain. So to the drain, I will collect the load. So this is the current limiting resistor for the LED. This I will connect to a ground. This is the light emptying diode, LED. Now what happens when the switch is on, drain and short, uh, drain and source act like a short circuit. And the current flows from the 5 volt supply to ground like this. Or we can say current is flowing out of the drain. So what is this configuration? This is the current sourcing configuration. Current sourcing configuration. I hope now you got the basic idea about what is current sourcing and sinking. The next video we will see how to uh, provide both current sourcing and current sinking ability for a circuit so that the user can connect either sinking load or sourcing load. Thanks for watching. If you like the video. Please share with your friends. Don't forget to hit the like button.